Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. As you can see, I've got a selection of CD and DVD players here. I thought I'd do a little video here, just on these six to start off with. I'm, not, I'm going to do them one at a time over this next uh, up and coming week. Hopefully I'm going to be able to fit them all in. CDs seem to be going out of fashion quite quickly now. You know, they're literally giving them away in charity shops, places like that. You can get a CD for as little as 10p in some places. Uh, and you know, it's still a great media really. Uh, a lot of people obviously going over to digital, download, streaming, all that kind of stuff for convenience maybe, where you know, the quality is still on the CD sound wise. And it's obviously still people collecting CDs and listening to CDs. So I thought, let's have a look what we can get a real budget price. This channel's about budget, low, low price, the lower the better. Most of my stuff, well, all my stuff sub 200 pound. Some of it, most of it is even sub 100 pounds. That's how cheap things are. And these are just ridiculous, you know what I mean? You're picking up a CD player now. I mean, I'm not talking about a well-regarded one, but they can slip through the net. This is this is what it's all about, I think, really. Charity shops, you may get a few charity shops where they slip through the net and just think it's a CD player, or you know, especially a DVD player. They seem to take no notice at all of a DDV player. Uh, five pounds, 10 pounds, something like that. Even the CD players can go as cheap as that. But sometimes they will look it up in some charity shops, the model number, etc. But this would mainly be on a CD player, just in case it's a rent special edition one or something like that. Then they start charging a bit of a premium. But when you go over car boots, uh, places like that, DVD players are just chucked around, it's just, just like, you know, bit, bits of paper, really. <laughs> like, you know, just you go up there, £5, £4, £2. I've picked up one for £2 before at the car boot. Just silly prices. Uh, for a DVD player, but it's no good getting a DVD player if it doesn't sound very good. So you know, it's a bit pointless. You, if you've paid four or five pounds, it's four or five pounds wasted. So hopefully, I'm going to pick out the good ones from the bad ones when I pick them up. And if you're looking for one, you know, you can hopefully come here. And if I've got it, I'll give you a, my, you know, my you know, fair review, my honest review of how I think it sounds. Don't forget, I'm only going to use these as CD players. Uh, I'm not going to play MP3s for them. Some of them are MP3 compatible. Purely CDs. I think one of these models here actually plays uh, S uh, CDs. Well, well, they you know what I'm on about. Um, yeah, so I'll mention that as I go along, which one plays that, etc. But yeah, I'm going to give my honest opinion, like I say, just as a CD player. I'm going to go through these. Like I say, look out for charity shops, even on eBay. One of these went for £2.20 on eBay. I know you've got postage on top, so that puts another 10 on it or something like that if someone charges £10. But most of these are like, you know, under £20. You'd be surprised what you can pick up. All these got no remote controls, not too fussed about the remotes, as long as I can get the functions on the front. So just a little tip to start off with, not make sure if you're buying a CD player or a DVD player come to that, that's got no remote, make sure you can do all the functions or most of the functions like skip track, next track, all that kind of stuff on the front. And you'll want a display as well. Just make sure your DVD player, I mean, obviously a CD player is going to have a display, but your DVD player has actually got a display because a lot of DVD players have got no display. You know what I mean, the display's on your TV and you don't want to start looking up the TV, you've got to bring a TV into it just to see what track you're on and all that kind of stuff, it's a bit silly. And obviously you've got a display on the front telling you how many seconds into it, what track, etc. Then that's going to be great, you know what I mean, you know exactly where you are. So that's it, this is what the next few videos coming up on my channel is going to be all about. Like I say, keep an eye on charity shops, car boots, places like that. Look at models on eBay and places and forums and all that, you know, DVD players and CD players, which good good write-ups and that. And, you know, if you go into a charity shop and you spot one on the side there, you know, up for £5, pounds, like, tap it in on your phone, have a look. If you're after one, see the reviews and that. You're going to have a good idea, you know, how good it is on there. Hopefully that will be kind of give you some indication. But I will be picking these up as I go along because they're so cheap. I might as well pick one up every review and I can probably just give it straight back to the charity shop. It's not really worth me sending it on eBay with postage and all that kind of stuff etc so it's going to be like a pretty cheap review for me give you an idea of hopefully which ones sound good and maybe which ones to avoid so that's it i'm going to come back very shortly with one of these and we're going to go through the lot until then i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon